on this segment is directed around um, kids in your family. Encouraging your children to eat healthy is very important. And I'm going to give you some great snack ideas today to help you to encourage your kids to eat better. Um, one great thing that you can do for your family is just eliminating the things that you'd rather them not be eating. So instead of having a lot of chips and cookies and packaged items in your cupboard, replace those items with fresh, fresh fruits and vegetables. So today I have Haumea helping me and we're going to be making a few things. I've already prepared um, these little boats here. I like to call them my little egg vaas and they're made out of boiled egg and carrot sticks and a little bit of iceberg lettuce. Does that look fun Haumea? Would you eat that? Uh-huh, that's good. Um, making it fun definitely makes it more appealing to eat. Another thing that I've done is I've taken that roasted garlic hummus that we made earlier and what did I do, homie? What's in there? Carrots and cucumber. And what does it make? Nice. Makes a face, huh? You see the face? So making it fun for your kids is always a good way to get them to eat it. Would you like to try one of those? Go ahead. Anyone you want. Ooh, and she chose a cucumber. What do you think? Good? All right. We have hummus there. Hummus can be something that the whole family enjoys, really. And um, kids seeing you eat it definitely encourages them to want to eat it as well. Um, the next thing that we're going to do together is we're going to make another famous snack idea, which is the ants on a log. So um, the peanut butter or almond butter is which, what I use today. I use almond butter instead of peanut butter. Um, can get a little messy, so I did the almond butter part for you already. But I'm going to let Haumea go ahead and put the ants on the log. So these are all your little ants. And you just choose a log and go ahead and put them on there. Does that look yummy? Raisins are always good. I mean ants. <laughs> Do you eat ants? Only today? Yummy, you're doing such a good job. It makes me want to eat one too. Are you making two? One for me and one for you? For everybody. Oh, everybody. Okay, great. So very simple snack idea. Celery, either peanut butter or almond butter. And um, some good, good old raisins. That's all you need. You want to try it? Not right now? Okay. We'll just leave this one for display for later, right there. Um, another fun thing to do for your kids and a breakfast idea is making fruit bowls. So you could take a half of a papaya, I filled it with plain uh, organic yogurt, and let your kids dress it up with whatever kinds of fruits they like. So I've got, what are these? Blueberries. Blueberries. And what's in here? Okay, so you choose which ones you want and you go ahead and put it on your fruit bowl. What would you like to put in there? Mm, blueberries is a good choice. <laughs> Lots of blueberries. Yummy. Are you going to put any kind of other fruit on there too? No, just blueberries? Okay, well blueberries is her favorite. Um, Sometimes you know your kids better than anyone else, right? So um, just providing them numerous amounts of different kinds of fruits is the best way to get them to eat it. So maybe we'll try strawberries and bananas later next time, huh? Does that look good to go? That looks almost like a dessert, huh? We'll save that for later. Another great snack idea that you can do um, is just good old slices of apple or banana and a little bit of almond butter or peanut butter, high in protein, um, and you're excluding all of the other sweet snacks that they're getting with the cookies or chips, things like that, um, with a little savory snack. Um, I used some of the boiled egg and mixed it down into an egg salad. Um, my egg salad consists of equal parts of plain yogurt and mayonnaise. So decreasing the amount of fat. I use a non-fat plain yogurt and um, decreasing the calories and the saturated fats and not using so much mayonnaise um, and adding a little bit of yogurt instead of just mayonnaise altogether. So um, again, using a variety of vegetables to encourage your children, cucumber, carrots, celery, 
however they like to eat it. Um, last but not least, we have this almond butter sandwich. So what kind of fruits do you think would be good on this sandwich? Strawberries. Okay, that's a good idea. So why don't you take some of those strawberries and you put some strawberries on that sandwich. Um, this is a great way to eliminate jams and jellies from your child's diet, which are really high, usually in corn syrup and um, refined sugars, and replace them with fresh fruits. So a great breakfast item or snack item, even lunch item throughout the day. High protein in the almond butter, and you get your good source of fruit. That looks so yummy. Yum. And last but not least, it's always fun to finish off the sandwich with a fun shape. So I will cut it into triangles. What do you think about triangles? Are triangles good? Would you like a piece of that sandwich? Okay, we'll save that for later too. Were those some good ideas, Homea? Would you eat most of these things? All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Again, thank you to Kaheli Alani and our Midweek Farmers Market for all of these wonderful produce items. And I hope these um, videos have helped you and your family to eat better. And have a great day. Aloha. Our spaceship to travel our vast universe To teach us to be aware And meet an 